morning, everybody. This is Deanna Largent, Business Development Director for the Chamber of Commerce for Puyallup and Sumner. And our guest today is Jill Starks, and she is the Business Development and Group Experience Coordinator for the State Fair. So she's got a great message for us today, sharing uh, a new program that this, the fair has implemented. So Jill, tell us about what your role is and what this is going to do for for ridership at the fair. Well, I think you and I have similar job titles, so we have yes, similar we functions. Uh, the fair has always welcomed groups, whether it be group ticket sales, group events, and our corporate perks program, which has been around for several years. However, this with this position, this is the first time that they've had someone solely focused on basically our outward facing messaging. And so I'm excited to be in that position. I'm excited to go out and talk to not only local businesses, but regional businesses to offer the opportunity for their employees or their customers, um, their associates to come in and enjoy a fun day at the fair. So what entails a group? How big is a group? Um, a group, depending on the service that you're looking for, a group can be anywhere from 8 to 10 for our corporate rodeo program to 25 for our group ticketing program, which is where a company would come in and buy tickets for their employees. Our corporate perks program really is open to any business. And uh, since those sales are directed by the employee themselves going in and purchasing the ticket, and then group events, you know, 15 to 20 is probably low for us, and we can house up to 300 people in our VIP tent. So we really can fit small, medium, and large-sized businesses. So you have a VIP tent, so if they want to do something special for employees, what, what would that look like? Yeah. We have a VIP tent. It's located adjacent to the grandstand. Um, we have seating up to 300, so you could do a seated meal uh buffet style is typically what we do there it can be a gathering place for your employees to come in let's say you're a large business and you do a um, day at the fair and you've provided them with their admission tickets it might be a place for them to stop in and pick up their ride and food tickets if you have any additional goodies like a t-shirt or something that you want to provide for them so it can be a pickup spot we also do our vip concert pre-shows in that tent so um, we have four vip concerts that are happening uh, four pre-shows that are happening this uh, fall at the state fair so on the concerts that we don't have the VIP parties happening, your company could come in and kind of create your own VIP party. So it's pretty flexible. I think that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of hassle eliminated to just get your employees in there to have a wonderful day. So, and that's including families, the, all of the families of employees. Yes, depending, the, the company can structure it however they want. They can structure it with just employees. It can be a family day. It could be your top salespeople. It could be your top customers. And that can be as broad as the business wants to define it. Absolutely fun. Mm -hmm. What a great role for you, Jill. Yes, I, it's been fun. <laughs> and it's exciting because this time has been so challenging and people have been working remotely and companies that um, have built themselves on their corporate culture, um, what, their, what their office atmosphere is like, have oftentimes kind of lost it through this period that we've been in. Um, and so we're happy to help businesses recreate their their corporate culture bring people back together help with employee retention um, every little piece that a company can offer an employee that is a benefit whether it's a, um, a health benefit vacation or something fun like a day at the fair helps to create that retention of employees well good on the fair I, yes. I am so glad to see this happening. So there's something happening very, very soon. You want to talk a little bit about Spring Fair? Yeah, so this year's Spring Fair is not one weekend, but two weekends. So it will be starting this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then we'll take a break from Easter to the following Thursday. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday of the following week. So we're super excited. 
So what I have here, if anybody's interested, we have dollar off gate admission tickets. So uh, track me down here at the chamber and everybody that's coming to wake up on Thursday, I'll bring those with me to save some, uh, save some money on getting into the fair. Yeah. So uh, any special things that, that they're showcasing at the fair? Um, they're show- we'll have uh, uh, the Monster Jam and Slam Fest on the second weekend. Uh, the first weekend, we'll have lots of grandstand shows and activities going on that are free. And if you are a business, it is not too late to sign up for our Corporate Perks program. If you just reach out to me and my email, if I can plug, is sure. jills at the fair.com. If you just reach out to me, I can get you your special code and your employees can go in and get an even lower price than the coupon that we have here. So lots of fun and lots of fun throughout the year. We've got an exciting year ahead of us. I think so, and I think everybody's ready to get out and have a little bit of fun. Spring break right right now happening. Mm-hmm. Everybody's mm-hmm. left town and heading to someplace warm, hopefully. Or or if you're still here <laughs> at home, here. you can create your own staycation right here at the fair. So come yeah, on down to we Spring have fair. lots of great hotels nearby. So come and support your local hotels. Bring the family out. Come and enjoy the Spring Fair here at Puyallup. So thanks for being my guest today, Jill. It's so much fun to have you. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, so come back anytime when you got some really fun things going on. I will. Thank you. Bye, everybody.